It's a home run. All right. Madam Toastmaster, would you watch that bat for a little while? Fellow Toastmasters, you know, last summer, my wife, Sue, raise your hand, Sue. Yay. We went down to Chickasaw Baseball Park down in Bricktown. Has anyone been down there? All right. Is that a lot of fun or what? Yes. It is beautiful. I go down there. I get a big old hot dog, pour chili all over it, onions and cheese, get a big soft drink, go down and sit down in the chair and watch the Oklahoma Dodgers play baseball. It is so much fun. I like to see our pitchers rear back. They get their knee up in the air. I don't know how they do it. And they throw, strike them out. Woohoo! And then our players, they get up there, hit a home run, and we're winning. It's a great time. But the Oklahoma City Dodgers is part of the minor baseball league, but I'd like to go see Major League Baseball sometime. Have anyone seen a major league? Wow, I haven't done this yet. Now look at how many people have seen Major League Baseball. Did you know opening day for Major League Baseball was April 3rd this year? But for years and years and years, it was April 15th. So I want to let y'all remember, April 15th. Can y'all say April 15th? April 15th. You did so good. April 15th, let's go back in time, back in time, to 1947. That's when Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier. Jackie Robinson, April 15th, 1947, ran out on first base, out to first base, playing for the Brooklyn Dodgers. He was the first African American who played Major League Baseball the things that he had to go through with. No one should ever have to go through with what he had to go through with. It was terrible, some of the things. But he did with dignity and grace, and he was a great baseball player. As custom, when someone is a super player, a very, very good player, they retire his number. The first person whose number was retired in Major League Baseball was? Otis Wagner. Luke Eric, number four. <laughs> number four for the New York Yankees. But the person whose number was retired from all clubs was Jackie Robinson, number 42. In 1997, Bud Seeley, the commissioner of baseball, said we're retiring number 42 in honor of Jackie Robinson, not from one club, but from all clubs. That's what kind of person, what kind of player he was in honor of Jackie Robinson. That was 1997. In 2004, they decided to make April 15th, y'all are falling down, guys. <laughs> April 15th, Jackie Robinson's Day, to celebrate Jackie Robinson. And so all over the United States in Major League Baseballs on April 15th, they celebrate Jackie Robinson's Day. And if you had been watching TV this last April 15th, April 15th you would have seen the players go out on the field wearing number 42 for one day wow. in honor of Jackie Robinson. He was a great man, a great player. But he couldn't have done this by himself. No, he had help. The general manager of the Brooklyn Dodgers back in 1946 was a good Christian man. He believed that everyone should be able to play baseball, not, because, not looking at their race or color. Everyone should have the opportunity to play baseball. And so he had a stack of resumes on his desk. 
and went up through each one very, very, I mean, meticulously looking at each one. And he chose Jackie Robinson. An assistant said, Branch, why did you choose Jackie? And he said, well, Jackie's made, went to UCLA. He made good grades. He's very smart. He's married. And is, he's a family man, and that's good. He's a phenomenal baseball player. But best of all, he's a Methodist. <laughs> I'm a Methodist, Branch said. God's a Methodist. <laughs> well, I don't really believe that God's a Methodist, but I'm a Methodist, and it sounded really good. <laughs> so Branch brings Jackie into the, his office and says, Jackie, what are you going to do when people say it's racial slurs? They're going to curse you. They're going to clean up their shoes and hurt you. They're going to pitch at you and hit you with balls. Did you know that Jackie Robinson would be hit three times more than any other player? Three times more. Do you think that was a coincidence? So Brant says, what are you going to do, Jackie, when this happens? And Jackie says, so you want to have someone who has guts who fight back? And Brant says, no, I want someone who has the guts who won't fight back. I have to prove that I not only chose you because you're an excellent player, but because you're a fine gentleman. And that means you're going to have to turn your cheek. You're going to have to have an enduring love. And that's the only way we can win. And I can prove that you are a great baseball player and a fine gentleman. Well, Jackie did go out and play. The things he had to put up with, you can't stay at this hotel. You can't drink out of that water fountain. You can't eat at this restaurant. All these things in order just to play baseball. But yet he did. And by doing so, he was a gentleman and a great baseball player. He won the hearts of many over it's amazing, Jackie Robinson and Branch, two men, two Methodists, that changed the world of baseball and our country. Now let me ask you, I'm going to sort of switch around here. Do you like to be chosen? Don't you think Jackie Robinson was really thrilled to death about being chosen? I mean, if there's something you like to do and someone says, I'd like to choose you. Would you not be excited about that? I like to be chosen. I know it's hard to believe, but when I was a kid in school, the teacher would have a baseball, they'd have a bat, and we'd go out to recess. They'd give the ball to one guy, usually athletic, and he was one of the captains, give the, give the bat to another guy, which was athletic, and they start choosing their friends, usually by their athleticism or their friendship or whatever. I was a little skinny guy. <laughs> I was still waiting to be chosen. Finally, the teacher says, we're not going to play ball until someone chooses Richie. <laughs> well, one of the captains would kick the dirt a little bit and says, I'll choose Richie. I like to be chosen. But really, isn't life like a baseball game? We have times where we strike out. We have times that we hit home runs. Sometimes we walk to first base. We're full of challenges each day in our lives. In my opinion, and this is just my opinion, we have a general manager that got his job 2,000 years ago. In my opinion, his name is Jesus. And if you ever get the Bible out and look over there in St. John chapter 15, verse 16, Jesus is talking 
And he says, you didn't choose me. I chose you. I like to be chosen. Life has its up and down. But I don't know about you guys, but I'm stepping up to the base of life, and I'm ready to play. It's a home run, Madam Toastmaster. Thank you.